hello there and welcome to this video in this video we're gonna see what are the other charting maps which are available generically inside Luminar designer we're gonna see how to add another layer and how to use these different charting components available for you and this will set precedence for the next video where you're gonna use multiple layers in a specific chart and you're gonna enable interaction from the user to move from one chart to another chart okay so let's do the first thing which is to open up the chart configuration here there you go give it a second or so there you go it's loading sometimes the map component is a bit slow depending on your server performance and other variables okay so this is the configuration area and as you can see it's loading the data and there you go as you can see there are two layers layer one and layer two let me quickly take you through layer one first so layer one is first of all using a bubble chart here okay so there you go bubble and this is the data set it's using which is ds1 and then you have to use geoson and then the correct mapping property which is important and then of course you have to choose the column which has the geographic information for example countries and states and things like that and of course the revenue for the size of the bubble okay so this is the layer one as you can see here now coming to layer two which is this one as you can see this is using a different chart okay so this is using a chloroplat this is using a different data set similar columns but this is using quantity for displaying the color strength and this is not a bubble chart this is a color pen so this is going to display the significance of the value so in this case quantity in the strength of the color so you can use multiple layers in a single charting area okay so as you can see here we have two layers here so i can disable enable a specific layer at any time for example if i disable layer one now layer two will become the default layer and then i can swap these layers of course and as you can see here okay so we don't want layer two so i'm going to disable layer two so you're back to square one so you can do that now let's try this so let me first keep this And let's try and run this application okay so there you go you have the chart you can make it bigger by clicking on the plus sign here okay and much nice much nice so, there you go big enough to see the small areas as well Spain for example so on as of now with the current data set okay so as you can see this is the chart which you are getting and keep in mind that this has two layers obviously which we just saw and you're only going to see the layer which is enabled so as we saw we had checkbox a specific layer and only that layer is visible and the other layer is hidden now what we're going to do is we're going to swap the layers okay there you go so layer one is right about here so what we're going to do is we're going to enable the layer two okay and then we're going to disable the layer one obviously we don't want two layers to be seen at the same time that'll be too much information all right so there you go now we only want to see layer two okay all right really nice so let's run this again and see if this takes effect okay there you go real nice so as you can see your report had two charting components or two different options and you're able to use one based on your requirement and in the next video we're going to see how to move the user from one chart to another chart so one chart could be summarized to a country level and another chart could be a drill down to states and things like that so we're going to see how to do that well good stuff well, good stuff i'll see you in the next video